Okay, so this one gets right down to the nitty gritty without wasting a second. And the basic idea here is that we follow a guy, a biker, getting out of prison after a long stint. Remember how I said this is a common trope just last week in my review for Palmer? Yeah, we see it here again and this one actually shares a few similarities with that movie. But the general idea here is that we have this guy who wants to get back on his feet. But back home in this small town he runs into an old flame of his, which of course complicates things. And this turns into a bit of a love story of sorts and uh, quite a convincing one. Because I loved Pablo Schreiber and Jenna Malone as the main characters here. Their chemistry is excellent, from the very first scene they just got it right. I 100% believed in their relationship and that does a lot for a movie like this. I also liked the overall look of the movie and the writing and the direction too. So in general I don't really have too many complaints about this one. I didn't quite love it as a whole though because I did feel like it was maybe a tad bit meandering at times. But some of that was the result of the whole will they won't they dynamic that was going on. Which is pretty much a required trope for romance and romantic comedies as well. You pretty much have to have that element in there, but in those kind of movies you know the end result, right? They gotta end up together and that's just how it goes, every time. So in that sense that will they won't they thing is actually an illusion, it's not real. And that's why I kind of prefer love stories, because that uncertainty is real, they can go either way. They can end up together or they might not and that keeps things interesting. And you know, that is certainly a part of what kept this interesting as well. Because the tone here was handled more or less flawlessly, they really did a great job with it. Because throughout the entire movie there's this unsettling sense of underlying tension. What's gonna happen? Are they gonna make it work? How is it all gonna end? And I very much appreciated how that whole part of the movie was dealt with. So I guess kudos to writer-director Sabrine Doyle on her first feature-length film. Because she did show a clear understanding of how not only to write a movie but also direct it. Now with that being said, she didn't exactly do anything too adventurous here. She played it pretty safe for the most of it and made a very solid movie that does stand apart in some crucial ways from the competition. And it was enough to make it a bit more interesting, a bit more impactful and memorable than your average movie. Now I still don't think it's phenomenal, but I'd say it's rather good and I'm gonna give it a solid 7. And yeah, if you like indie dramas or slightly unconventional love stories, you should probably check it out. And if you don't like those types of movies, this one is probably safe to skip. So you know, maybe give this one a chance or don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel because that would be fantastic.